We just read the Dune book, and we are going to watch the trailer for the first I'm time. I'm so excited. This so excited. Dune Part 2, coming out very, 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 very soon. A few and weeks. We know, we, we know a lot more about the plot of Dune, and so we're excited to dive into the trailer and see exactly how they choose to portray the actions in the book. Yes, there will be spoilers. We have read the book, and we're looking to see like what in the trailer gives away what their crossover how we connect the book. the book into what they're thinking about and honestly maybe they're trying to throw us off with the trailer so i'm, I'm excited to dive oh into i'm this. very oh, very excited about it so let, let's check it out let's see okay. what they've got to let's got do it. for us should we just start right off the bat it's exciting yeah paul the trade Ex- explosion <laughs> dude this <laughs> he's ha- like the king of the king of the mountain over here this this has to be the explosion right before the storm when the emperor comes that's just such a wild part to start with in the trailer i well, it's because it's uh, epic and no one else knows what I wouldn't be surprised about. if they have, like, most of the stuff from that final battle in, like, the last, last part well, of the book. Well, it's because this book, like, uh, it's only, like, the last, like, what? Like, 60, no, uh, 30% of the book It's is not left much, in this movie. truly. It, it's not a lot of words. Unless but they cover some of the next books with this trailer, uh, with this movie, too. Then we wouldn't know what's We'd going on. We'd be in on. trouble, <laughs> dude. We <laughs> only read, read the first one. We're going to have to read another book. Okay, let's do it. So it's his visions. Okay, we know that from the first from the first movie, right? That's not going to his vision. But dude, look, we don't need to pause this much. We, I know. I, I want to see the trailer. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's playing. It's been a while since you've you had win. one of those nightmares. Tell me, what was it about? Ooh, it's only this, this is visions. You're right. Nothing's clear. Oh yeah, dude. Okay, yeah. Let's let's pause that for a minute. I know. I I get to choose hey. when we pause. I guess. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know you, what my deal is. You intro the video. <laughs> you have I the know. power. No, dude. This is this looks like they're they're going into more about him being afraid of what his visions are showing. Yes. At which they didn't cover too much in the first mo- uh, movie, and the book really hammers that he's kind of afraid of what's coming. And we see a lot of these these Fremen pop out, which I really like. That's again from the final battle with the Emperor, so. Oh, crazy. You've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. Oh, yes. oh man. My family's been fighting them for centuries. Your blood comes from Dukes. This movie just looks so, so massive. I Okay, I love this part. Yeah, dude. That's Jessica as the, um, the Reverend Mother for the Fremen. Oh my gosh, dude. That's going to be wild. I'm excited for that. Here, we're equal. What we do, we do for the benefit of all. I'd very much like to be equal to you. Maybe I'll show you the way. Oh, this is what I'm talking about, dude. I told you, I love the Cheney relationship, Cheney and Paul. Oh, you're going to get plenty of it, it looks like. Dude, that... Well, okay, this is, I hope they really hammer that because like I've said in some of our previous movies, this is one of the things that really, if you want to get the feel of the book, the power of this book, you have to understand that relationship and really feel it to really understand that finish. That's true. Yeah. Especially, especially the finish of the book. It's not going to make as much sense without that. Yeah. Yeah. I, they'll, they'll. Come on, Zendaya wants a whole lot of screen time, so there will be plenty of that. I, I like her. She's a great actress. So does Sussex. Fade Rotha. He's psychotic. Oh. Fade Rotha, man. Oh, man. He does look psychotic. Ugh, yucky. I, uh, ugh. <laughs> Just keep going. It's crazy. Oh, dude, the, the arena fight? Yep. The arena fight is actually crazy. Yeah. Because so, he totally cheats. Yeah, I know. <laughs> spoiler alert. I guess we already did the spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah, but... That's cool. Though. It, I wonder if they're going to portray it in black and white as well in the movie. That's kind of I interesting think that's that they did cool. that. cool. I, I also wonder if it's almost more of a ritualistic. It makes it just seem very like this is a rite of passage kind of battle. Yeah. It, do you think that they'll do more Harkonnen scenes like that? Like I don't of, think so. Of like, like you, uh, they like didn't we talk about much. there's some bloody scenes it's, in the it's book. Bloody. Oh, man, goodness. And But they didn't do a lot of that with the Baron. Like, honestly, from that trailer, I wouldn't be like, oh, that's the Baron's nephew. Yeah. I wouldn't have got that at all. It's like some random gladiator fight. I know. Dude, it kind of makes me think that, well, we haven't met him in the first book movie at all. We haven't he's met not, him, but he's, he's his nephew. He's not like some random other species person, which is well, what it looks like. Interesting, because by this part in the book, we've met him and we know who he is, yeah. but we've never even seen him in the movie yet. This that's is the true. first 
time. That's true. I just so said I they're wonder, making it seem like he's a completely different species of person. That is true. It looks like he's some just crazy assassin And guy. they kind of try to portray the uh, uh, Harkonnens like that in, in the movie and in the book. Which is like, they do that in this trailer. It's like right before. Oh, I'm not sure if that was um, Pieter or if it was Piter. Like Piter or if it was the... Um, the other guy but he's like send an assassin and then they show <laughs> yeah it's like that's not the same thing <laughs> no well and the other thing i want to say though with the black and white though it makes me think that in the movie it's going to be a flashback that is a classic flashback thing to do is to make like mm. the the screen look different like blurry or black and white maybe that's in a, this good case. Like, it's a good idea there's a so lot of content i bet get they introduce movie. the fade ralpha and then have a flashback to this black and white thing to show like how vicious. This is be. just about a three hour movie, right? Just under, I think. I, I think. I think I was looking like it up. That. And they have a lot of content to get in, so I would not be surprised if they do a lot of flashbacks. Look at, there's water. Water, yeah. We water. paused it on an ocean. Are you kidding? <laughs> That's not dude. All at once. And in so many futures, our enemies prevail. I do see a way. There is a narrow way through. Oh, oh. the maker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and it looks like there's a lot of people riding the Maker. March 1st, dude. My allegiance is to you. Oh, you wait a minute. I gotta pause for a second. Hans Zimmer is still doing the music for this one. I'm sure he is. Oh, it sounds like dude, it. Dude, I know. I love <laughs> his stuff. I So he usually does all the music for all of... Uh, uh, Christopher Nolan stuff. Yeah. He specifically did not do the music for his movie Tenet because he wanted to do the music for Dune. Interesting. Because it was one of his favorite childhood books. Wow. Yes. And he's like, I have to be on this project. A childhood book? Oh, I don't know about that. Is <laughs> well, I don't know. I think he was Pretty like intense. in his teens or something okay, reading that's, it. That's better. It wasn't like they were reading it as like a five-year-old bedtime story. I, like, well, I hope not. <laughs> I know. It's a little tense, but... Yeah. He is a legend. I'm excited for Hunter. I love Lord. his music. This is a form of power that our world has not yet seen. The ultimate power. That is a weird silver dress. I want you to know I will love you as long as I breathe. I'm telling you, they're going to do the Cheney thing. As long as you stay who you are. Cheney relationship. You know it. Stoked about it, dude. It's coming. Ooh. That's going to be cool. I love that part. Dude, I know, dude. Did it, Okay, does she look younger in this scene? I thought she looked super old in the first movie. Like, the, the, was it, is it the truth sayer or the reverend mother? It's the reverend mother, I think. Yeah, she's also be. a truth sayer. sayer. Yes. I think she's both. But it, yeah, that's going to be crazy. Because basically he's just saying, like, I was raised by the Betty Gesserit. And now I'm just more powerful than all of you. So I know, dude. I'm just, I'm in charge here. She also might seem older <laughs> than me to me now because I've read the book and the voice actress for like that ancient. Is, 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 I was like, Paul the crazy. Like just super, super old. But. I think that, yeah, that'll be, that'll be a crazy, that whole element. Be, I'm excited. Dude, this looks just, okay, last thing. The scale of this movie, again, is massive. Just yeah. conveying the massive feel of this It's an book. entire it's, world. Though. It's just like, so yeah, I think they, they just do a this, good job. This part we're coming the up to, though. The whole idea I mean, of... You know a, this is it. I know, dude. Uh, before we get... The whole idea of how to make a good movie out of a book is to convey the feeling that the book gave you. And that yeah. is what he's doing so good at it. Honestly, right? I'm going to credit at least 70% of that to Hans Zimmer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I did great. This prophecy is how they enslave us! Oh, my goodness. This is going to be it. You are not prepared for what is to come. <gasps> oh man. It has been a long time since I have been excited about a movie coming out. Holy cow. That's a good point to be like <laughs> waiting and just excited for the final release day. I think last time for me was Endgame. <laughs> Wow, dude, that's a few years yeah. ago, dude. Yeah, I've I've not been seeing as many movies lately, but this is gonna be pretty fantastic. Oh my god, I'm gosh. so excited. Super. We're a couple weeks out now. This. You know, we're gonna do a reaction to the video to the movie as soon as we've yep. seen it. We will be doing a review It'll be on reaction. this channel. If yep. you're not subscribed already, oh, it is a good time. A good time to subscribe. Yes. <laughs> Great time. We <laughs> love that. So we are excited. Be here to enjoy it with us. Understand. Everything that we know because we've read the book. If you haven't seen the read the book, then you'll understand everything because you've seen the movie now. Yeah. And oh, so yeah. we'll be able to talk very candidly about 
the story and everything. And yep. And give us some feedback on this is a new format for us. The whole uh, reacting to and trying to record the screen. Uh, we're figuring it out. Okay. So let us know what you think. Give Hopefully your... there's audio. <laughs> <laughs> that could be really interesting. I know. But uh, let give us your feedback. Things that uh, you like. Maybe we should react to some other trailers or videos that came out. So it could be fun. Anyway, right. Thanks everyone, and we'll see you in the next one.